Today I've got a problem from the TMUA specimen paper that's the last question of paper one. We want to know what is the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of 4 minus x squared multiplied by 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared to the 6 minus 1 plus 4x cubed to the 5. And we've been given seven options here. Of course, what we don't want to do is just sit here and expand all of this. That will take far too long. As you notice, I've got 4 minus x squared, and then I'm multiplying it by this big function here, which I'll just call g of x for the time being. What is the degree of g of x? Because it is a polynomial. And now, well, this thing here is going to give me x to the 12, and this thing here will give me x to the 15. And so this will be a polynomial of degree 15. So in theory, it can be written as something, a constant, plus something x, plus something x squared, plus something x cubed, all the way up to something times x to the 15. And now we want to know the coefficient of x squared when I also multiply g of x by 4 minus x squared. So now how can I get a coefficient of x squared? Well, either I multiply this 4 by the coefficient of x squared in g of x, or I multiply this minus x squared by the constant term in the g of x. So all I really need to con consider is the constant term of g of x and the coefficient of x squared. Let's start with the constant term of g of x, so the coefficient of x to the 0 in g of x. Well, what is that? Well, the only way I can get a constant from g of x is by taking the constant from this term, which is 1 to the 6, and then taking the constant in this term, which is 1 to the 5. And that, of course, just gives me 0. So that's quite nice. Uh, there's no constant term in g of x. OK, what about the degree or the coefficient, sorry, of x squared in g of x? Well, here's where we've got to be a bit careful. Notice that there's no, nothing coming from this guy here, because this is going to be 1 plus something x cubed plus something x to the 6 and so on up to x to the 15. Because of this x cubed, we're only going to get multiples of 3 in the power. So the only way I can get an x squared is from this guy here, 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared to the 6. Now, what I'm going to do is just actually write this bracket out a few times. So 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared, and so on. And I've got six of these brackets that I'm multiplying together, like so. Now, how can I get an x squared when I multiply this out? Well, let's think about how we multiply out brackets. We're just going to choose one thing from each bracket. So well, how could I get an x squared? Well, maybe I can choose the 3x squared here and then just choose ones from all the other brackets, like so. OK, and then that would obviously give me a coefficient of 3x squared. But how many ways are there to do that? Well, there's six choose one ways of doing that. Because I first, out of the six brackets, I need to choose one of them in which to take the 3x squared from. And then the other five remaining brackets, those I have to take the 1 from. So I don't get any choice over those. But I do get one choice over where the three goes, uh, sorry, six choices for where the three, uh, where I choose the three from. So three times six, choose one, which is three times six, which is 18. Okay, there's one way we could get x squared. How else could we get x squared? Well, I could take a two x from one bracket, a two x from another bracket, and then just take ones from all the other brackets. Now, if I do that, I'm going to get two x times two x, that's four x squared. And now how many ways are there to do that? Well, I need to choose two brackets out of the six in which to choose the two from. So I'm going to multiply that by 6 choose 2. So 4 times 6 choose 2. Uh, 6 choose 2 is 6 times 5 over 2. 15 uh, times 4 is 60. So if I put these together, I get 78x squared. So the coefficient of x squared in g of x is 78. And now then, if I multiply by the 4 minus x squared um, and expand all that out, the 4 is the thing I'm interested in. I'm going to get 4 times 78 which will give me 312. So the answer here is G, 312.